Hey everyone, what's going on? I want to apologize again. I'm a little under the weather again. I thought I was going to get better, but I really didn't. I think I got worse. I keep taking NyQuil and stuff, but like, I don't know what my body's doing. But I said in yesterday's video that this whole entire week, I'm going to be reviewing as, as many Nexus products as I can. And I do have some special treats for you guys. Some devices I have, I haven't seen anybody talk about in a while. So I'm excited to do that. But today we're talking about the Nexus 6P and how it holds up in 2018. Now I just did one of these a couple months ago and how it held up in 2017. So it's not going to be too different, but there are some key differences i'd like to explain but looking around the body it's super awesome i really really like this build a lot of people said it's really easy to bend but if you throw a case on it and you're not purposely trying to bend it i doubt anything's gonna happen but me personally i think it's one of the most premium android devices i've ever owned the, the weirdest thing about this phone though concerning the body is the the volume buttons are the weirdest thing though like they're super rocky but other than that the power button is solid i like how it's textured it does have front-facing speakers and they're super awesome if you're watching a video or you're like you're listening to one of my new beats i'm soundcloud.com slash simple alpaca it sounds really cool i mean the music i make actually sounds really good on anything you play it on now software wise it's running android 8.0 oreo which you know it's it's capable of being updated to the latest version as of this point for me i kept it completely stock unless it's my daily driver i don't feel like custom roaming it or anything like that the greatest thing about this phone is that there's such a huge community behind it kind of recently it's been going down and i'll explain it later but i mean since it's a phone directly made with google it's supposed to be getting updates for a while now i would probably say it's getting Android 9 and possibly Android 10, whatever they call it at that point, but it's definitely going to get unofficial support for a while now. Looking at the cameras, you have an 8 megapixel front facing camera and a 12.3 megapixel camera on the back. Now, when this phone came out, it was most notably famous for, for shifting the, you know, stereotype of the Nexus line having really bad cameras. And I would say this camera is still fairly good. The back camera, especially it, it can shoot 4k video. I mean, it has laser autofocus and can even shoot 720p videos at 240 frames per second. The camera is definitely one of the best features of this phone, but the front camera, I don't know why, on every Android device, besides like the, I would say the 2017 to 2018 range, the front camera on phones before 2017 just sucked. I don't really understand why. And overall performance is awesome as well. I know I'm shifting all over the place, but in this day and age, like I said in the other video, most phones, like whatever you want to do with it, you know, performance wise, it'll handle basically anything you throw at it. But for some reason, the Nexus 6P had a hard time running super intensive games. It has an octa-core processor are clocked in at two gigahertz and with those specs you would think that this phone could like you know freaking travel to the moon but for some reason it just can't handle certain games for some reason now it was able to run dead trigger fine at the time of me playing it but games like real racing 3 and i guess games in that caliber this phone had a hard time playing which just seems so weird to me like this phone on paper is way more powerful than my 7 plus but my 7 plus beats it on like every single performance level it's just such a weird thing i would say that's a huge problem for me but that's not even the biggest problem with this phone actually the biggest problem with the Nexus 6P, especially in 2018, are some batteries in the Nexus 6P are faulty. So now what happened was, and it's kind of the same thing that's going on with Apple right now too with their iPhones. After looking at the subreddit for the Nexus 6P, I noticed a lot of people were having this problem. After their Nexus 6P hit a certain level of battery life, their Nexus 6P would just shut off and then it wouldn't turn on until you charge it again. So it'd be on 30, 40% and the phone would just randomly die. So Google did acknowledge a problem for a little bit and they did exchange a couple of them. It has a 3,450 milliamp hour battery which seems huge but if it shuts off and if it's faulty there's no point of having that battery that battery life is pretty much cut in half i do want to note though my battery on my 6p did not have this problem but i'm not saying it doesn't exist so some of the pros for the nexus 6p is that it has a nice camera has an awesome build quality it's not that expensive anymore you can get one around 190 less than 200 dollars it has a super dull fingerprint sensor usb type c front speakers and, and it has a super nice screen as well as amoled you know it's supposed to and i made a video yesterday saying why amoled sucks i'm not saying i hate amoled you know i love amoled screens i think that they're better than any other technology i just think certain aspects of it suck i don't hate amoled now some of the cons are the battery is faulty it has trouble playing bigger games and probably has trouble you know heavier performance apps I guess volume buttons are really weird. There's no wireless charging, no expandable storage, and no removable battery. Is the Nexus 6P worth it in 2018? I would say not really. If you can find a lemon that doesn't have that problem with the battery, even then I would hesitate it because there are a couple other options that would kind of suit you better than possibly Nexus 6P. And then those options are a Nexus 5X. That's amazing. I'm about to drop like an updated review on that phone in a couple of days. I think that phone is better in some ways than the Nexus 6P. Obviously it's less premium, but it has less problems as well. And if you want a bigger phone, get the Galaxy Note 5. Those are fairly 
cheaper now and that phone has way less problems than the Nexus 6P does. Both are good phones. I, I made reviews on both of them last year. I believe I made a No 5 video already. Yeah, I made a No 5 video already, so check that out. I dropped it like a couple weeks ago, I think. But yeah, that's basically my opinion. Obviously, you can do whatever you want to. I'm not your mom. I'm not your dad. So guys, that is pretty much it. If you guys have a different opinion or you think I'm wrong or you think I'm right, leave that down in the comment section below. I'd love to see your comments. Like this video as well. That would mean so much. I just dropped another beat on my SoundCloud, so make sure you listen to that. I, I make lo-fi beats. Go to soundcloud.com slash simplepack. A link's in the description as well. Actually, the song on my outro is also a song I made. So if you want to listen to some of my music or a little like 20 second sample, listen to my outro music and see if you like it. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.